saying that that's the song that I generally sing when, like, you know, a song with not the best lyrics comes to mind, and it's a secular song, I start singing it just because the tune is catchy. I'll sing that song to remind me that I shouldn't be singing for the secular world, I should be singing for Jesus. Aw, very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks. But you still sing those songs. I hear them all the time. I know. But then if I... <laughs>And I'm nursing this little baby here. I'm not going to show you because obviously... Share a little bit about what you learned today. Okay, so I learned about the Seacon people. Mm -hmm. So there was this family, mm -hmm. and they like had a huge property. But then they soon found out that underneath them there was like all this gold. Yeah. And then they started like mining with little pickaxes. And, and then soon the property got cosmic... Cons. Confiscated? Yeah. <laughs> By who, the government? Yeah. Because I don't think that they could pay for the house. On another note, laundry. That I'm Kayla. not going to do. Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Six, Guys, I'm heading in here because I'm about to film a haul. Uh, can someone bring this car seat downstairs for me, please? I had the baby's car seat up here because... I was actually trying to film before and I tried to put her in it, but it did not work out. I finally got through. <laughs> you guys, I just filmed a haul for this channel. It's probably up way before you guys see this vlog, actually. But, um, it was hard. It was a big haul, too. It was a big haul. Like I, I told them, if they enjoy these, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, you know, definitely let me know. But now I can actually put the stuff away and use the stuff that I wanted to use as opposed to just have it sitting around. Let me show you the pile. Ooh. Oh, look at all these things that I got to put away. Hold, hold on. Firstly, I should show you the girls. That's the girls right there. And now we're going to add Zoe over here. This is the mess, guys. Oh my word. I should speak, then let it be of a grace that is greater than all my sins. That's the song that I generally sing when, like, you know, a song with not the best lyrics comes to mind, and it's a secular song. I start singing it just because the tune is catchy. I'll sing that song to remind me that I shouldn't be singing for the secular world. I should be singing for Jesus. Aw, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Thanks. But you still sing those songs. I hear them all the time. I know. But then if I, I was like, okay, wait, what's the next lyric? Like, and I'm like, uh, like, okay, everybody's singing this part. <laughs> <laughs> Song into a different song. We're really oh, yeah. like, That's an excellent thing to sing. Oh, no, we so didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't do that this time. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, Anyways, this is an insight of what we're doing today. Number two, we're, we're on to day two, and this is what it's requesting of us to do. So I'm just giving you guys a glimpse of how we proceed through our daily devotions. It starts off with asking a question. And sorry for the angle because I'm nursing baby in my arms at the current moment. Then it asks us to read the Proverbs and that's why we have our Bibles at hand. Then we talk about it and then we speak to God, um, tells us what to do and how we should, you know, proceed with the message that we've learned. Then we always end in a prayer. So um, the topic that we were just talking about didn't really have anything to do with uh, what we're taught, what our devotions for the day, but... It's always good to just touch base on all those kind of things, right? Yeah. How do you guys enjoy devotions, by the way? It's we love, love it. It's nice. Yeah, I love it. On a scale it's of fun. 1 to 10, each of you, honest opinion, what's your thoughts on devotion? I like it as an 8, because I enjoy just like spending time with you guys and talking. Yeah? I like talking a lot. That's not a good thing, but <laughs> I like talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's, what's yours? What would you give it? Why did you give it an 8, by the way, as opposed to a 10? Uh, I don't know. I just thought that if I gave it like a 10, then it's like, oh, you're just doing that because 
like you're on camera or something. <laughs> no, no, no. I asked you for your honest opinion. You yeah, I, I really like it. Really yeah, like it. Okay. Yeah. What's yours? I think it's close to a nine because you we can do this anytime. Yeah. And like it helps us like learn how to pray better and yeah. to like speak out loud about God's word. Oh, you're so slow. That was, so bad. That was good as my reason. <laughs> <laughs> Go give her a hug for me. Go give her an extra squeeze because okay. I can't because I've got baby in my arms. Sure. <laughs> give her an extra squeeze for me. Oh, and what's your thought, girl? Uh, maybe, I think maybe a 10 because I just love the questions that I ask. It's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, she likes doing the fun activities. Like making <laughs> up songs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and you... writing psalms. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Writing Back that. psalms. Oh, I wasn't doing that. Well. Well. I'm doing 3D well. printing. I thought they were saying that. I'm really whoa. Whoa. And then I just like follow them. Oh, are you ready to okay. see? I just like punch you. Like, oh, guys, how about we go like this? Like, what punched me is the ottoman. I bruised my knee. Like, Mom, that is the welcoming dance into family devotions. She looks <laughs> like a T Rex on drugs. No, but listen, listen, listen. Wait, okay, okay, you go like this. Gabriella can go like no, this. I can go like this. So, Gabriella, we're going like this on either side, right? Like yeah. Right? Okay. Ready? Set. Welcome, Welcome to the Zebra Tribe. <laughs> we're along the lines of, welcome to the zebra. And we all jump up and go like that. So, all hands Okay, so we go like this. So, well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So we pile our hands up one at a time. All right, so yeah. So one at a time. So that would mean that you go first, Gabriel go second. Welcome to the zebra tribe. <laughs> oh, son, mother, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> the most like that fake hair. Yeah. Okay, this <laughs> Sucking her thumb. Zoe, Zoe, no, suck, no sucking your thumb, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should have made everything better. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't, right? Yeah. But it didn't. We just angered her. Apparently she's still hungry, though. The struggles, guys. The struggles of trying to get devotion done this morning. Mm -hmm. This is what it's like. Um... Ah, for the most part, no worry, Mommy, we I... try to have a schedule, but it's not always, um, you know, flowing the way we'd like it to. So, <laughs> turn around. We're over here. We're over here. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Share with me the, the verse of the day. Proverbs 1, verse 7. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Very good. Oh, me too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 1 7, fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Proverbs 1 7, fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Very good. <laughs> Zoe, <laughs> so Zoe, your turn. Go ahead. Tummy She's time. She's so is funny, Zoe. Look at her face. She's just like happier now. She clearly <laughs> hates tummy time. She does. She hates tummy time. Oh, my munchkin. Because she can't crawl yet. Yeah, she can't crawl. Oh. Limits her mobility. Oh. But guess what? Look, you have moved. You're way off where I placed her. I placed her on this the whole time. And look where she migrated to. She's going where? What direction is this, people? Uh, what direction? Eat. Camera. Oh, this is video. Hi. Hey. Want to say hi, Zoe? Uh. No. <laughs> you don't want to say hi? Oh. You just tooted it out. This is the different benefits that Solomon attributes to his proverbs. So, do you understand that? Yeah. Well, it gives you knowledge, and it's supposed to guide you. Gives That's you right. And it's going to lead you to what is honest and fair. Very good. 
to receive oh. instruction wise dealing. Else it says, Why is the fear of the Lord so important? What is one called who does not fear God? Foolish. Um, oh, yeah. A fool? Yes, they're called foolish. Why is it so important to, to fear God? Because he is, the, oh, he is all powerful. That's right. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>